So one of the questions we get asked most often here at our shop is, does a certain animal bite? Now the answer to that is, well, yes, it can bite. Everything with a mouth can bite, but the real question is whether it will. Now today we're gonna to talk about those instances where an animal would bite you and how to prevent that from happening. So let's go get started. Now the first reason why a lizard might bite you is because you startle it by picking it up unexpectedly. Now at our shop we see this more with nocturnal lizards who are fast asleep during the day and if we have to go pick them up, sometimes they'll get scared and they'll react by biting because they think you're a predator come to grab them and take them away. So. Uh, yeah, sometimes even nice lizards that are usually really friendly, sometimes if you startle them, they will bite in response. Now here we've got a great example. This is our lychee. She's very friendly and she hardly ever bites. Um, the only time we've ever had her bite was when we accidentally startled her by picking her up without any notice uh, because she is fast asleep during the day and only wakes up during nighttime when it's nice and dark. Now we're gonna show you a way that you can kind of make your presence known to a lizard that maybe might be asleep or something. If you just kind of let them know you're there, just kind of tap around them, you know, just touch them very lightly. You definitely don't want to grab them really quickly, just a quick snatch or anything, because then that kind of makes them feel like you're a predator grabbing them. What you want to do is just kind of ease. Yeah, cause this guy, he was asleep. Just want to kind of ease them up onto your hand and he'll be fine except he's holding on with his tail yeah yeah you just don't want to startle them you want them to know that you're there now the next reason why a lizard might bite you is if you accidentally tease them and most people would think oh I don't tease my reptile at all but uh, you can actually do it unknowingly uh, sometimes if you hand feed your reptile and they're used to you hand feeding, they'll associate your fingers with getting food. So whenever you stick your hand in front of their face or near their face, they might uh, think that you're bringing them food and might unintentionally uh, grab your fingers uh, thinking you're feeding them and thinking that you've got food in your hand when you really don't and all they get is a mouthful of fingers. <laughs> um, I myself actually had this happen with uh, this big girl right here. <laughs> now what happened with me with her one day is that I went into the cage and I was doing my animal care shift and I hadn't given her her greens yet and I wanted to decide that I was gonna go pet her and give her some lovin's. And when I reached out to give her a good scratch, you know, she saw my fingers and thought I was bringing her greens to eat and she immediately grabbed my fingers. Uh, she did let go immediately. Um, however, I did, you know, yank my hand instinctively away from her so that kind of tore my finger up a little bit. So yeah, that kind of happened, but uh, yeah, I wasn't hurt too bad. It just, you know, it's just one of those things that happen. But yeah, unintentionally, I was, I guess I was teasing her, making her think I had food, uh, without meaning to, of course, but that just shows you what can happen. They might bite you without any bad feelings. They might just think they're getting fed. Now, the third reason why a lizard might bite you is because it hasn't been fed lately. Uh, and it will try to grab anything that looks like food that enters its cage. Now with these guys, they get voraciously hungry. Beardies are known for that. They love to eat and they love to eat a lot. Now these guys are already watching my hand. That guy is, anyway, or that girl is anyway. This is the girl up here. Uh, she already sees my hand in there. And even if you're putting in your hand to just clean their tank, or something they might go after it because they're super hungry just depends how hungry they are and another thing is we've had it where the animal care has worn nail polish and of different colors like black or green or something and they think it's food flying around their cage because they lock in on that color and they will chase them around the cage and grab them and bite them thinking that they're either bugs or in the case of green fingernail polish they think it is greens to eat 
And yeah, this guy, he's following every movement on my hand. That could also be due to them associating our hands with food. And a way to prevent something like this from happening is, well, in the case of nail polish, just don't wear nail polish around them. But as far as just a normal hand in their cage goes and them chasing it around, um, even if you're just doing cleaning or whatever, just make sure that you feed them first if they're very, very voraciously hungry. Just give them a little something to eat while you're cleaning the cage. That way they're focused more on the food than your hand and they're nice and full when you go in there so they won't try to grab you. Now this is the one that tried to eat somebody's fingers the other day when they had nail polish on. Yes, you did. You know you did. We are talking about you.